For such an odd looking guy, Donald Trump is completely obsessed with his appearance and tries very hard to stop the press from releasing anything he doesn't think shows him at his most preened, orange, bouffanted best. And we've opened up, whoops, there goes our box. And my hair's blowing around, and it's mine. The one thing you can't get away with, if it's not you, you got a problem. If you're president. Did you see the picture of me, the horrible picture with the stomach out to here? That was... So what I do is I'm putting up today a picture of me actually, what I actually look like, hitting a ball, smashing the frickin' ball. And you'll see quite... I wouldn't say slim. I wouldn't say slim, but not bad. But the ball does go far. I would say it goes about nine times further then Biden can hit it nine times. Now look, he's certainly not the first celebrity to try to carefully curate their image, but he is by far the most ridiculous and the most disconnected from the reality of who he is and what he looks like. This is a man who is the president of the United States getting mad about people calling him names. Trump is used to doing the bullying. He doesn't like it when the shoe's on the other foot, but it's not just Trump getting defensive about his appearance. On April 16th, it was reported that Trump dropped his head inside the courtroom, keeping his eyes closed, before jolt jolting his head upright. You know, every so often, Mr. Garcia, maybe you could just lift up that picture of our, our uh, President Trump sleeping. Um, as you say, I, I think he's praying. Um, but if he is sleeping, you know, he certainly looks pretty while he sleeps. Um, may maybe it's an endearing moment of prayer, though. I, I know when I fall asleep on airplanes, you know, my mouth kind of drops open. And, you know, his mouth is kind of tight-lipped. So maybe, maybe it's just a somber moment of... I mean, thought. he's sleeping. It's been it's been reported by multiple press outlets. I, I was uh, in the courtroom today, sleeping. and I, I do um, I I could see why someone would fall asleep. They trapped him in a cage. We call it a courtroom, but it's a cage, and he's like King Kong. And they're sending Matt out down there, and she's looking at him like an animal. She's like, "Oh man, his hair is really orange. Uh, look at his eyes. Look at his lips. He's angry. He's mad. He's upset." watching them. They're not providing any sort of legal analysis. Joy Reid went down there. He's like, well, he's bigger than I thought he was. I mean, they're acting like it's like a zoo creature. And what happens with King Kong? You remember? Boom. It's not going to be good. So he's going to bust out of this cage eventually. They're not going to be able to keep him down. They, they killed King Kong. Yeah. 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 He took yes, a white woman on top of a yeah. building and it was yeah. frowned upon in the 40s. I don't right. think <laughs> I saw the end of that movie. <laughs> Yow. But regardless, his supporters are going to think that he's some kind of god no matter what. You like Donald Trump, I'm guessing. That's right. And what did Donald Trump do? You've seen one or two presidents, I'm guessing, in your 40 years. What did Donald Trump do uh, as president that made your life better? I like the way he doesn't back down. He might not always be correct, but he admits it and he does not back down when it, when it comes to the company. Country. What brings you out here? What do you like about Donald Trump? Everything was not to like, you know? He made, what, what specific? He's for the American people. I mean, look, he's in Pickens, of all places, small town. You know, everybody else would have been in big cities and not caring about places like this, but he made a point to come to small town America, you know, so. I think a lot of people voted for the first time just because they never knew to us fake news and rigged elections and indoctrinating our children and er everything is the opposite of reality is what everybody tells you and everybody believes you know he's the most unifying president ever in history and all the numbers show it and probably get record black and hispanic votes again this election but they they make him out to be the divider and the most racist president divide divisive president yeah. <laughs> is made out to be the unifier <laughs> you know what i mean it's like bit, yeah. it's crazy yeah. tell me what you like about donald trump what is it that, that you respond to He's um, he's not fake. He's he's upfront. You know what he's thinking. He he tells the truth as far as you know. Uh, what do you uh, like about Donald Trump? You know, I like his I like his uh, his honesty and transparency, and and I like that he puts America first. He was a little more honest than the rest of them. Uh, he he said things that uh, that were true and the others, they, they don't. He seems like more of a man of the people. Driven up here from New York for a Donald Trump rally, you must really like the guy. Tell me what you like about him. I love how blunt he is and how straight upright he is and just says it. There's no holding back and he just says it. And a lot of these people are just 
selling snake oil and stuff like that. Just telling you things you want to hear and just giving the stuff away, whatever they can give away. You know, I have to say, it's hard to understand you through that thick South Carolina accent. Yeah. Donald Trump, there isn't, much, there isn't much not to like about Donald Trump. Uh, he's got the heartbeat of America. Uh, everybody I know is behind him. The United States went down eight years before Trump. It's gone down even further uh, since Biden's been in there. And we're backpedaling. Uh, the world's laughing at us. Uh, they where, where, where are they laughing at us? I'm, I, like, what do you, where do you think that's happening? China. China's laughing at us. Russia's laughing at us. When Trump is in office, Russia wouldn't even have thought of, go, of invading their neighbor. As soon as he left office, what happened? They know, Trump's, they know uh, Biden's not going to do anything to him. What do you like so much about him, and how did he make your life better? Uh, the economy, uh, the independence from all the other energy sources, and just he's got the right idea, I think, to, to put this country where it needs to be. He's the only one that's ever stood up to people for right and wrong. He does a lot of things wrong, but he does a lot of things right that people appreciate. I think he's the best president for us, and he wants what's best for the people, not for him. Man, he's been beat up since before he even came into office, and people think that he's verbally confrontational. Well, wouldn't you be? I mean, I think that he's doing a great job fighting for, you know, he keeps going. Who can do that? Uh, I, I, I believe he's the most persecuted president we've ever had, and I, I think it's, he's... He's worth the trouble. One of the funniest descriptions of what Donald Trump is like to work with came from a Rolling Stone interview with director Taika Waititi, who worked with Donald Trump as part of a Super Bowl commercial campaign. Waititi describes a makeup artist whose main job seemed to be just hyping Donald Trump up, flattering him and boosting his ego, saying, oh, Mr. Trump, you look fantastic. Trump required the camera to be at a height and angle that made him look thinner, which I didn't actually know was a thing, and I will now demand it as well. Uh, but he also bought a color scale to show what shade of orange he wanted to appear. Just just, you know, totally normal stuff. It shouldn't matter how hot politicians are, it really shouldn't. But they sure seem to think that it does, which is fine, I guess. But from hair to clothes to makeup, this is the guy that you're pinning all of your thirst on? And Trump is so bad at the image stuff that he makes even his followers change how they dress. And I don't just mean red hats. There have been rumors that Trump supporters have taken to wearing adult diapers at his rallies, in his own image, presumably to avoid missing a moment of the spectacle. It's like a bizarre cult of personality with Trump as the ultimate fashion icon. Politics should be about substance, but I am not gonna lie. The more we learn about Donald Trump's fragile ego and his desperate need for constant validation, the more enjoyable it is when an unflattering photo or video leaks. It's like popping a balloon full of hot air. It's an injection of reality into a political world with so very little of it. But in the end, the joke might well be on us, because now Donald Trump doesn't even need that hype guy on set anymore. He's got an entire political party and a third of the country ready and willing to tell him how dead sexy he looks 24-7. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.